back uh, from the break. Uh, we, uh, there was some confusion in the schedule. Where we were very honored that uh, Jan LeCun had uh, agreed to grace our workshop with a talk. Uh, and then there was some confusion because it seemed like some emergency had come up at the last minute. He wasn't going to be able to make it. Uh, but your workshop organizers have worked very hard, and we're very pleased to announce that we have salvaged the situation. And without further ado, I introduce to you Jan LeCun. Um, good morning. Um, uh, thank you very much, uh, Tom, for this invitation. Uh, it is really, really an honor for me to be talking about um, uh, deep learning uh, for uh, creativity and design. I mean, um, machine learning, but there is not much else, uh, actually, to, to, be, to be honest, to be true. Um, so I don't think I need to introduce myself. Uh, everybody at this point uh, knows me. Do, do you hear me, by the way? Yeah? Oh, now you hear me better. OK, thank you. Um, and. Uh, so, yeah, it is my honor to actually uh, do something um, to, to present all the posters uh, that uh, have been submitted to, to this workshop. And, um, yes. Um. Okay, hold on, hold on. You're not Jan LeCun. <laughs> uh, what, what are you doing here? Uh, I, I am the real Jan LeCun. I am very happy to be here. Thank you very much to the organizers. Uh, of course, I'm Jan LeCun, a chief AI scientist at Facebook, a d data scientist at NYU. Oh, I'm sorry, I am the cyber professor of computer scientists at NYU. I am a one-time Turing Award winner, a potential... I, I am the true inventor of convolutional neural networks. I, I was the one that made the convolutional neural network uh, in 1960 and 61. I and am the only person who actually knows how to pronounce my name. <laughs> In fact, it is pronounced Yon Le Kun, Yon Le Kun, uh, uh, very, very tight, Yon Le Kun. I'm, I'm sorry, you're not Yon Le Kun. You are not Yon Le Kun. You're not Yon Le Kun. You're not Yon Le Kun. You are a fake Yon, you are a deep fake Yon Le Kun. What? You are not Yon Le Kun. Corey. Yes. Is it you? Yes. <laughs> is it you? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is the real Yon Le Kun. <laughs> That's how he looks like. Um, and he, yeah. Um, These are two photos of him, so you can identify him. Yes, and we have also on our faces. <laughs> uh, he has lots of friends. Mm -hmm. uh, this was him last night uh, talking over the posters for the creativity workshop with two of his friends. He, yeah. he aged uh, majorly in one night. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's a famous celebrity. And uh, it's very funny. Look, at, like, he's smiling on one picture and not on the other, but oh, let's not make things up like journalists. Yeah. <laughs> because that's, that's what journalists are. Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't want to weigh the uh, story in no, on no, that. No, no, no. So, no. yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a talk about convolutional neural networks. Yes, yes, we're very happy to be here at the Convolutional Neural Network Workshop. Uh, there's 31 accepted posters. Yes. Uh, you can follow along at neurops 2019 convolutiongithubio Yes, it's, it's listed over. And um, I think we should just start presenting them one after the other. Yes, of course, of yes. course. So, um, yeah, that's the, that's the first one. Uh, very good. Visual indeterminacy in generative neural art. Yes, um, that's, uh, that's very fuzzy and confused. And... Uh, and I think uh, an actual Jan Lequin, uh, another Jan Lequin has just said, each hypothesis we assume will be knocked out by a contradiction elsewhere. Mm. So that's what's written in the paper. That's great, right? This is fantastic. And so that means that even Ernst Gombrich is predict predicting the common revolution. <laughs> even Ernst Gombrich. I mean, there are lots of artists in the room, right? Yes. Yes, so you, people know the joke Just, just by funny. show of hands, everyone knows Ernst Gombrich, right? <laughs> all right, OK, OK, okay all right. <laughs> that's joke number one. <laughs> Okay, so, um, oh, ah. look at who's that? Oh, very good, Board Jan LeCun weighed in on this, said, if you enjoy indeterminacy, you should try reading CVPR reviews of my ConfNet papers from the early 2000s. Oh my God, hat. <laughs> hashtag torch, hashtag feel to learn. Okay, we need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to go on, so uh, this one, um, do you mm. have something? Yes, uh, unsupervised doodling and painting with improved spiral. Oh. This is great. Lots of very good blurry faces, images. Uh, some of these look familiar, some of them less familiar. Lots of cubism, artistic. Yeah, I think it's very, it's, a, it's like a, a commentary on, uh, a meta commentary on uh, abstract art. Mm. Like you need to minimize the amount of energy to create something um, ab abstract. <laughs> Which is like uh, something, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I don't want to start a war. Bordian Lacoon says, as a child in France, I learned about the deep connection between the lack of supervision and doodling. It's very exciting to see this idea formalized in an academic paper. Yes. Yes. Oh, this one, oh. that looks great. Yes, you should see the poster, UglyNet, playful exploration for UNet for glitch effects. Yes, I'm sure that, ooh. <laughs> From the title, it, I thought that uh, this paper would be about kernels. Unfortunately, I was mistaken. 
Yes. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, I was part of that war, actually, <laughs> when I was at NYU. Um, oh. Ooh, uh, Paper Dreams, an interactive interface for generative visual expression. Yes, I'm sure that the other young looker would say, my five-year-old could have done that. My five-year layer continent could do that. <laughs> That's the new thing. It's all about training still and learning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Styling audio reactive visuals. Yes, you know what, that reminds me, the first time I went to NIPS, yeah. uh, it was called NIPS at the time, 2008, uh, in Jan's lab, we were all sharing um, um, ho hotel rooms. A, a single hotel room? Um, yes, uh, all, all of us, all his lab, yes. Well, yes. That's a great choice by Jan Lacoon. Yes, yeah. so anyway, uh, times have changed. Yeah. I guess. Anyway. Um, oh. This may be a good time to point out that the reaction of both audio and visuals to confidence points to their universal applicability to problems of perception and intelligence more broadly. Mm. Oh, this one. Breaking speech recognizers to imagine lyrics. Mm, as if something being broken means it's working in another domain. A very creative application of something being completely broken. Yeah. I, I love this. This is what art is all about. But you know what? If you know Jan well, mm. real music like Bach and jazz does not need any speech recognition. Ah. No lyrics. <laughs> Put but his nose up at it. <laughs> So, ah, ooh. this is good. A generative approach to Korean abstract painting, Dan Sequa. Mm -hmm. Do you have any joke on that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, luckily Bordian and Lacoon does. Well, this paper claims that some images are happy and others are sad. In fact, there's an element of happiness associated with any image produced by a ComNet. <laughs> Hashtag feel to learn. Jan just loves ComNets. Yes, he does. Oh, oh, this is tell good. Me that. Tell me that. Set the joke. Set very the joke, very good. Joke. Deep reinforcement learning for 2D soft body locomotion. What did you just say? I said deep reinforcement learning. Wait, the second and third word? Reinforcement learning, Jan. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come it's on. the best part of the cake. Creative oh. GANs for generating poems, lyrics, and metaphors. We can see uh, one of the samples here. Home, home, home sweet home. Home sweet, home, 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 home. <laughs> A fantastic sample from the model. Yes. Absolutely <laughs> cherry-picked for sure. They really reduced the computational uh, complexity uh, yeah. on the softmax output. Yes. Uh, oh. Oh. I like to imagine that in the imagination of a GAN, most metaphors would relate world concepts to components of a convolutional neural net. Hashtag feel to learn. Yes. Mm. Transform the set. Memory attentive generation of guided and unguided image collages. Mm -hmm. Ooh. For about a decade, uh, when CPR would not publish the papers on neural networks, I made collage out of rejected drafts. <laughs> um, now I make a collage out of diamonds while uh, looking out of one at a from my penthouse uh, <laughs> balcony. <laughs> Hashtag torched. <laughs> Very uh, good. A uh, little close to home. <laughs> little close. Neural <laughs> painters, a learned differentiable constraint for generating brushstroke paintings. Good. Beautiful panda. Fantastic. Figure 11 is when they chose to include yes. the pandas in this paper. Can we see some pandas? Uh, yeah, these are optimal pandas. Yes. Yeah, that is definitely an optimal panda. Do we have to advance? Uh, no, we could just watch this all day. <laughs> yeah, the next 20 minutes is just watching a panda go down a That's plywood so slide. That's so cute. Yeah. Uh, Bordian Lacoon says, the optimal panda should be one, be self-supervised. Two, play the electronic wind instrument. Three, hashtag feel to learn. No, but it's actually true. I mean, you, I, I don't know how many people here know that Jan is playing lots of instruments. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's true. Yeah, <laughs> mostly hot air at this point. <laughs> that was a burn on myself. I don't know what anyone is upset about. Okay, that's beautiful. Searching for an unstable equilibrium is experiments in training generative models without data. I mean, <laughs> this is great. That's, this that's, is great. This that, is beautiful. That's the best way to solve most of the controversies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Machine like learning. Everything, like, like bias, no, everything. Like. There's no data. <laughs> Just, that's so pure and yeah. minimalistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and the outputs are wonderful. Bordia Lacoon says, if it is uh, possible to learn from uh, non-experience, then the field is an, in excellent position. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag feel the learn. That seems like a meta commentary. Anyway. 
Mm, oh. I love this. Immersions. How does music sound to artificial ears? Well, I don't have any joke because that guy already actually uh, won the demo award. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, no jokes true. allowed. He's like immune, like survivor for the year. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Game design using creative AI. Yeah, because yeah, normally what happens is that sometimes in our day jobs, mm. um, we, we like have machines playing games. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Now, now at this point, we've offloaded that work to the machines so they yes. can just make games for themselves to play. Exactly. Yeah, and, and, and we could just sit and watch them create games and then solve games. That's so great. And then present the paper later. <laughs> All the cycle, end to end. Yeah. Um, Oh, this oh. is uh, arguably my favorite figure in the whole workshop. Learned interpolation for 3D generation. Yes, this is a meta commentary mm. on essentially uh, one of those things that, that was uh, put in reference with that, that work that was... Uh, Mar Marcel Duchamp. Exactly. Yes. 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 This is the toilet of our generation. Yes. Um, but... Hopefully, that gun also knows how to do something else because it's it's a well known, it's not a well known fact that Marcel Duchamp was actually a, also a great painter. Ah, yeah. I, I'm not trying to say jokes. I'm just trying to say facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can tell. We can all tell. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I need to. Okay. Uh, lucid dream, controlled, temporally consistent deep dream on videos. This is a good. This is if you want to control yourself through the deep dream space, you can actually take control like a lucid dream and drive yourself through this imaginative video. The end. <laughs> oh, machine learning based co creative design framework and human and GAN collaboration to create haute couture dress. Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous, yes. You can make a faux pas. What? How so? On the, on the, uh, walking on the catwalk? Sorry. It's, um, <laughs> no, so basically, yes. Yeah, so uh, perfume and, and haute couture, this is the kind of. Um, uh, things that would trick Jan because he always he was very, always very sensitive uh, mm -hmm. about jokes about French people. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was the best way to fire him, him up. Okay, and yeah. fashion and fragrance are French associates. Uh, yeah, as a, as a cliche, yes. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> if you just acknowledge the stereotype, then it's fine. Yes, exactly, uh, which I did. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so location conditional image generation ah. using generative adversarial networks. Yes, perfect. So this is the work that shows us what these architectures look like. So we don't no longer need tourism. We can just look at these pictures. Uh, it actually frees up all this world. And, and we can imagine great works from other, uh, you know, societies, generations. We, we don't need to uh, create anything anymore. I'm just saying, leave it up to the GANs. <laughs> I, I, okay. Oh, personalizing MIDI me, personalizing a music VAE model with user data. Mm. So that's actually a demo that you should be listening to because, mm -hmm. of course, it doesn't. I mean, you can't like uh, dance architecture and you can't uh, um, draw music. I mean, you can, but anyway. <laughs> 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 Making it up. Um, Text conditional lyric video generation. Uh, one of my favorite works in this entire workshop. This takes inputs of text, outputs, videos that you can watch along with the lyric videos. Yes. The end. Oh. Oh, this is a soft spot. Close Tell to home. Yeah. A Tell robot and a comedian walk into a bar and aha! It's so, a good title for a paper. So the thing is, we could have like... like <laughs> Right? We could have like talked about Jamie Brew and yeah. about Botnik Studios mm -hmm. and uh, and all that work. But Talk no. about yeah. No, he said no. Actually, you know, you know where I heard that that sentence already. Where? Oh, on that picture of you I in the New York. Sassy. <laughs> okay. And that's a picture of you. That's okay. always the joke that comes back. Yeah. It's as if all these human headline writers were just writing the same joke over and over yes. again. No, so basically this is like a complete self-promotion. Mm -hmm. We literally took this opportunity to actually talk about our own work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so thank you very much, organizers. Yeah, uh, we're, we're doing a show in London later tonight, uh, yeah. which like physically is impossible for any of you to attend. Yes, but yeah, and but we have many other shows. We're called Improbotics and, okay, I think we should. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Neural Loops. Mm, neural Loops. This work reminds uh, us uh, that the passage of time itself is a 1D convolution. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag feel the learn. Uh, uh, dialogue on a canvas with a machine. A human and a machine painting together on large format abstract paintings. Yeah. Uh, a beautiful dialogue to actually capture this human machine co-creativity. This work helps uh, humans to expand their creative capacities. I will not comment on how I expanded my creative capacities in the 70s. Let's just call it a convolution. <laughs> Hashtag feel the learn. Yes. Ah, and now, of course, our favorite section of this talk, poster titles starting with towards. I feel like, like, like everything. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wh wh which is the easiest way to say that there's no actual work going on in the paper. <laughs> but we've thought of something cool before anybody else, so let's get into it. Yeah, so like, yeah. yeah it's, that's no offense, I do have a towards paper also. No offense taken. Punching up and down yeah. uh, at the same time. <laughs> towards a principal evaluation of likability for machine-generated art. Mm -hmm. Seems like a hard problem. Throw mm -hmm. towards in there and you're good. Yeah. <laughs> On the topic of popularity contest, the Convolution on Neural Network, as was recently named by Lyon Magazine, to be uh, the number one most popular invention in France <laughs> of the late 50 years. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, uh, artist in the cloud towards an autonomous artist. Really? Like everything is going to be automated? The entire process, yeah. So From we, generation to consumption. So can we also have an audience of robots watching uh, perf robot performers performing? Yeah, yeah. Everyone in here is just going to be a bot eventually at NeurIPS. And, and the presenters will be bots. And then at the end, the, the few humans left will just be a fly on the wall just watching and... <laughs> Whispering to each other. Yeah. Um, um, at first, I, I thought Artists in the Cloud was a paper about Twitter parody accounts. <laughs> Despite my disappointment, I would try to attend this poster. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And final, uh, first steps towards collaborative poetry generation. It's actually great to see uh, like what goes in the mind of a scientist. Mm -hmm. Batman riding a dolphin up high. That's the human's input. <laughs> yes, that's the human's input, yes. Yeah. I just want to clarify the peak <laughs> of poetic generation that's the human that added that part. Yeah. Anyway. Bordian Lacun says, this collaboration is a nice idea, but note that the finest poetry ever flows from the storied collaboration between the 2D convolution and the Max Pooling operation. Ah, oh. towards sustainable architecture, 3D convolutional neural networks for computational fluid dynamics, simulation, and reverse design workflow. This kind of won the award for the longest title. <laughs> <laughs> it, it did indeed. Oh, I, I just uh, destroyed the punchline. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the length of this paper title may uh, be daunting, but fortunately, for, fortunately you can uh, handle uh, it uh, using convolutional neural networks with mean pooling. Hashtag feel to learn. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so what's the moral of the story? Uh, the moral of the story is this is uh, very heavily inspired by convolutional neural networks. Yes. Uh, there's a few things you should know. One, that they're convolutional. Two, they're neural. Uh, three, they're networks. Uh, four, people call them CNNs. And if yes. you want to find uh, any related work. Oh, yes, there is a lot of work published. On that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So thank you so much. Please enjoy all of the poster sessions. Uh, oh, well, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we can't possibly not thank. Bored, Jan Luca. It's not us. Yes. It's not us. Honestly, this was like we did that last night. Yeah. And we just kept exchanging on Twitter DM messages with Bored, Jan Luca. I have no idea who it is. Yeah. His e Gmail address is Bored, Jan. Uh, Ma at maybe he. Maybe he. There. She. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we, if we you're no in idea. the room, thank you so much, Bordian Lacoon. If yes. you're not, uh, you know, sorry for what we did to your text. Uh, if you want to find out about me and Piotr, check out improbotics.org. This, this is Piotr Murawski. Thank you so much, everybody. Yes.